Katakawa is doing something kind of amazing that's going to make everything a lot easier on anti-tubers and people who kind of just want to watch YouTube for anime and, you know, go back to the old days instead of, you know, there's not part one through three and then you're missing four. Let's dive into what Katakawa is doing. So there's an anime called Jashin Chen Dropkick, which is a very funny comedy that was that is put out by Katakawa and it was it's been going since 2018. Well, an OVA just released and Katakawa decided let's put it on YouTube for everyone to, you know, look at and use. So let's dive into one article I can find talking about this and this was brought up by my friend twice. Um, so let, let's take a look at the article. So according to the article here, you can see, like I said, that Joshin's a, a slastic comedy violence thing that's been going on since 2018, but Katakawa is doing something very unprecedented with the anime industry. It's going to sell the OVA episode online on YouTube and stuff of those platforms like Billy Billy and stuff like that before it broadcasts on Japanese TV. And this will allow fans to share the entire episode on YouTube and they can earn revenue if they, you know, they join the creator program. So if they're a partner with YouTube and they get money, they can use this. They can buy the rights to this OVA and use this for stuff like, I don't know, reviews on the OVA. Use it for B-roll footage for other programs and stuff like that and not be affected. So this is actually set to release on December 27th. And uh, <laughs> I forgot about this. It has Kenshiro. Uh appearance in it which is why it's kind of a big thing for the OVA because uh if you don't know if it's a North Star was kind of a big OG classic and a lot of people including myself really appreciate it and love it and it, the article dives into who Kenshin is and stuff like that but this is the main part we're taking out of this article that you do need to know about according to Kawa Kawa fans who want to share the OVA episode online can do so freely as long as they follow these simple guidelines the OVA episode must be bought from Amazon for 300 yen and can be shared after the TV broadcast on December 26th. So you can buy it before December 26th, the day after Christmas, and then you can have the rights to share and do whatever essentially after using or after December 26th, as long as you bought it from Amazon. The OVA episode can be used for entry without any time limit and can be monetized on YouTube, Nico Nico, and other flat platforms. The creator must be part of a CPS, which means the only way you can actually use this is if you are a youtube partner or a nico nico partner or part of that creative supported pro, uh, program basically if you're making money you can use this and you're the only ones allowed to use this moreover as long as the guidelines are followed the anime segments below 10 minutes of all the previous three seasons can now be shared on youtube and other platforms as well so they're basically saying if you can use less than 10 minutes like 10 minute segments from these animes from the last three season you can just use it as long as you're part of this program this is new like before people would get cited people would get demonetized they would get copyright stricken everything you could think of for animes katakawa is now setting a precedence to where you know this can happen uh especially with how japan is and it states right here japan does not generally have a doctrine for fair use there are some exemptions 90% of the time, if you're going to put anime or something like that along those lines on YouTube, Nico Nico and all that stuff, you're going to get copy struck. But now with this, uh, this basically takes away a lot of the problems. And it says right here, there are a lot of anime YouTubers that have faced legal troubles. Biggest ones that um, have come up recently, the One Piece or the Dragon Ball Z from oddly the uh, from the same look dragon ball z there was a bunch of creators that were taken down struck destroyed same for one piece and a bunch of other big animes and they made their channels off of this stuff now that this is going into effect hopefully other anime production committees will actually follow suit and do similar things to make it easier for people if they do have these restrictions they're easy to follow you have to do x y and z people can do that and it's amazing and the article also states this is the first this isn't the first time that this anime specifically here has ex ignore that little uh cut there i didn't mean to do that this is the first time that they like messed around and did stuff online they did crowdfunding programs they've done different things and they encourage the creator yuki wo i don't know i think i think i said that right but yuki wo has encouraged fans to do this kind of stuff spread the word around because if you see me use that in a 
in a video or use Gaunt or Joey or any of these bigger anime YouTubers use that stuff in a segment. It's kind of interesting. You're going to want to find out where that comes from. And a lot of people do that, especially off of memes. People look into anime just based off of memes. So this is fantastic. This is a great idea. And this is a good way to get people into the anime that haven't been there before. If you want a link to this source by Anime Senpai, I'm going to put it down below. I'm very happy that Kanakawa is allowing these steps to happen and it's going to open a hopefully I'm hoping as we go into the new year it's going to open a floodgate of new potential things for if anime studios can allow this for creators to talk about the works fangirl fanboy fan whatever over these works and use actual footage without fear of it being taken down that's fantastic uh yeah that's my quick little coverage I'm pretty sure there might be other people out there doing all this stuff but i'm trying to as we go into the new year i'm trying to start covering more anime news it's something i'm passionate about and a lot of people seem to not be covering anime news anymore and they just tend to stick with like chapter reviews and stuff i don't know i've had a lot of people come to me and say start doing more of this so i'm gonna start doing more of this let me know what you guys think let me know if you think katakawa is on the right pa uh like passage way whatever you want to call it remember like comment subscribe share this video around it helps me out more than you realize i love you all and i'll see you all next time Bye bye <laughs>